Hello, okay, so we've got our cigar diddly box. There we go. And here's our neck. What a neck. Let's just pack in. We've got another one of these. It's actually the same one that I got for my diddly bow that I already made. So that's okay. Um, we open this up and we remove the packing. Got our assembly tools, our assembly kits, and we have the instruction manual on how to put it together. So, place this all on the ground and move this out of the way. Now, I set up a system where I can go like this, and we've got kind of a workbench here. So I'm going to need my rasp. I am going to need a pen. This is actually a sharpie. Doesn't have to be a sharpie, but that's what I have. Um, measuring tape. Okay. Uh, So we've got the measurements done. Now we rasp. We want the rasp to end at the two and a half inch and five eighths inches in is at the one inch point. And we need to rasp in order to install the headstock or what, what I call the headstock. I suppose rasped or not rasped, it's still the headstock. But we need to get our little tuner in there. And since it's essential for it to be rasped to get the tuner in, I declare it to be the headstock. So, move back a little bit. Cut. Okay, so now I have my cell phone because my girlfriend is texting me and I'm going to cut it, but I just want to quickly demonstrate how the rasp works here. Got a, got a good grip on it and after doing that you can see that I've made a bit of an inlay into it. Now I will cut. So now we have the quarter inch drill bit nice and tight. We have remarked the one inch and we're going to drill into the one inch to install the tuner.
This is actually a lot easier than that rusty old hand drill that I had before. There, and we're through. Okay, now we take our box of parts, or bag of parts. I will remove the string because that's just going to get in the way of everything. That is what par partially what is what makes the sound, very key element of making the sound. And I will take this, which is the tuner. Here's the tuner, here's that. We push it through the back side, comes out through the rasp end, and hopefully you can see that there is a hole. Where the so we have our two marks for the 1 16th bit to drill in. Put in the 1 16th. This is the size of a 1 16th inch bit. There we go. Okay. Tighten it. And Got our workbench back up. And we're just drilling holes for the screws. Okay. Oh, good thing it was screwed in so tight. I'm gonna. Um, where can I keep this? And uh, there's a space in here. So now you see there. See there. And now, uh, and now we have there that. So, three inch mark. That should be enough. So now we take this screwdriver. This is the nut screw. As you can see, it's got a line through it so the string can go through. And this is what we were using for 
the screws to put in the headstock is what I'm calling it. So now we need a flat, I, call, I, I think it's called a flat head screw. have to kind of push <laughs> got our headstock key taken care of <sighs> and I think I'll just conclude this part by putting remaining tools back in the bag.